very much. I'm a collect come from a collective culture. My grandfather wrote uh, poetry with me, and I told him stories. We played games called Tell It Back Different But the Same, and uh, we made circles, and someone would sing, whoa, 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 and then they'd jump in and say, the water from my mountains drips into the stalo. And then we keep going, whoa, whoa, and so on and so forth. And that's how we learned to write poetry. That's how I learned. And so I did the same thing with my children. I saw that I was a good person when I had my first child. So instead of raising my kids differently, which I was encouraged to do, I decided to raise them like I was raised because maybe then they would be good people. That's right, they are. They're good people. This is Kalumpa Bob. She asked her father, because he went to residential school, if she could interview him. And he looks at her. He's a not a he's not a stalo. He's a nochomuk. And the uh, Jesuits say they're the most austere and disciplined people in the whole of North America. So this was his response. If there's no hope in it, it won't wash, babe. That's the interview. <laughs> <laughs> so she was stuck with writing a poem about that. Hope lives inside the artist. Instrument, brush, voice, pen, sculpture, body. Hope breathes life inside those shadowy crevices where I, <coughs> sorry, where doubt waits to feast on our weakened and dimmed inner light. Hope gives us strength to trudge through the muck and the mire to find solid ground. Hope is the home of curiosity, imagination, intelligence, and compassion. Artists are an emp empathic link between hope and the outside world. Hope frees, hope relieves, hope moves us. Artists move people from inspiration to action and direct hope toward a new reality that can be shared by everyone in the end. Hope matters. I have to say my friend, uh, Senator Sinclair, had a phone call with me and he said, Columpa writes at ho about hope through the body. That's amazing. And then when Tanya gets talking about relationships, she's so brilliant. And uh, you're pretty good too. Asshole. <laughs> Don't tell him I said that, Kay. <laughs> it was uh, an interesting process. We sat on my porch, which Shannon Campbell knows all about, my porch. And we worked for five days, starting with a poem, and then another one, and another one. Sometimes we did one verse, next verse, next verse, and there's some of those in here. Um, but always we talked about where we were going with this. And I was always the last person to speak because in my culture, the babies speak first. When we say respect the elders, we mean the babies because they just came from the sky world and old people carried them here. So the children are always wiser. And my children grew up in a household where their words were more important than anyone's. I had a lawyer friend once who said, shut up, I'm talking to your mom. And I said, no, you're leaving, and I opened the door. I don't know what happened to her. <laughs> so I'm older now. <laughs> we are writing love poems. Falling in love is a misnomer. We rise in it. Flying high, witless about the drop. I'm older now. I rise in it sooner, fly much higher. The drop is farther. 
It's the landing I mind. <laughs> I'm trying to find Tanya now. She's not here, but I'm going to try and bring her here. There it is. Lusty. You can see my daughters are very beautiful, eh? <laughs> I always tell people that was their dad. I picked him. I was in California watching TV. This Indian shows up, and I think, that's the father of my children. And my sister says, you know that guy? No, but I'm going home tomorrow. <laughs> He's the father of my children. <laughs> Hard working, good looking. What else do you need? <laughs> Into an area of clear water, my eyes adjust to the brightness of yours, captivating the lure of ecstasy, just below the layer of futility of the undoing of my lust-filled body. I faint in your gaze as it reaches starlight. The haze clears. You reach deep into my dreams, searching out the lost words. Between my want for paradise and my disdain for phony scenes, I lock onto you with my eyes. No words can describe how I feel right now. I want to paint you red with permanent stain. Bear your body to the typhoon. Words stick in my mouth, clamp to the edge of my tongue, afraid to leap off and crush you. Weary, you will transform into the monster inside and devour me, spit me out, leaving me on dirty sheets with a bad taste in my mouth. Do I have time for one more? I want a short little one here. Love from nothing. Thinking of you in brief moments while tying my hair back. The air breathes between us, circulating embers. Old love feelings mystify my mind, billowing dreams of new love. My passion and synchronicity catch flame. My body set ablaze by your image. And that's another one by Tanya. And her daughter's here tonight with me, my granddaughter, my beautiful granddaughter. And this is Tanya's painting on the cover. Thank you very much.